Hello and welcome back to part three of the Warrington Town Save with Football Manager 2024. One of the first things we're going to do today is look at buying some players, signing new talent and it's taken me about an hour and a half to do it but I've found about 10 players which we will go through together now the wages here total 485 pound for all 10 now let's forward the game back to where we once were right so the first thing we're going to do is look into scouting this tells us at the moment that we have £499 left in the wage budget to spend. So this is why I've looked to be spending £485 a day on 10 possible candidates. And the first thing I want to do is between the last episode and this one I filled in the rest of the team which included some youth that I haven't put in so now we've got enough goalkeepers in the squad albeit they're all rubbish and this player I will release today this is George Gowdy we only need three goalkeepers and he becomes the fourth doesn't have a contract so he'll be easy to release. Then we go into the left defenders. We've got three there. One doesn't have a contract, but we can't do anything with that because he's poor. And I will need three in the team for now. So unless he just leaves, we don't need to find anyone imminently. Central defenders, including the three youth here, we have six, which is enough. Now, two of these have got potential. And the first one is 41 years old with that potential. So I'm not sure he's going to last 90 minutes on any game he plays. Maybe he'll only be fit enough to play in one every three. So we will be looking at bringing central defenders in. Now, on the right of defence, we've got four players here. One of them was Andre Wisdom, which when I click on him to show you, he doesn't have a contract. And if you offer him a new one, he's not interested. So he could walk at any point. So do we get rid of Declan Walker at the moment or should we keep him as our third because of Andre highest points at the club but doesn't look like we can keep hold of him. Moving into the ML we need three and which we have here three. Two of these are youth players and only are competent as an ML but they don't have any potential at all along with the third one so we need a whole new three to fill that position mr is basically the same we have three players here but the two youth are natural in this position and one of them has a little bit of potential this is ewan spears so we will keep him anyway I've got him worth about £15,000 at the moment, but does have quite a bit of potential in him. Then we move into the central midfielders, where we have nine of these four are youth players. And I do have five of these players that could play at a higher level with potential. So again, in the youth here, I have Darcy Simington, not Simington, could be good for the club so we will be looking after him then we move into the strikers where we have seven but four of these 
are youth players and one of them again has a little bit of scope to make a good player this is James Cunningham but not as it stands so what we're going to do now we're going to give these 10 players contracts and I'm going to show you how to do that with each and every one none of this has been done in advance so the first player that we're going to look at is our top player and I've done this by the right hand column in purple here which is the potential figure so the highest potential figure is 392 for Billy Brooks so we will work for the best down to the last but the last one I do think will still have potential to be a top player in the National League so we're going to tap in we we'll go back to scouting and I'll show you how I found the players first of all click on players here then we want to go into new search I don't really like taking on players that are over 20 years old so 15 to 20 there will do add a condition down here of transfer value as zero because we don't have no money to buy anybody and attributes we're just going to use corners so when you use corners somewhere around five for this league will be okay and that will now tell you who is available and who isn't with those stats added in so the first one we're going to look for is Billy Brooks and as you see he comes up there and his Irish is on a free transfer 18 years of age now we had offered him a contract of £30 per week so you go into contract approach the sign we only want breakthrough prospects and future prospects as I've already said do not try and sign star players um, important players or fringe players that will cost too much some might have an agent you won't be able to afford them and we want to gradually build this team so we will do it with breakthrough prospects so we click on this and we'll see that this player wants an appearance fee of 50 pounds only so basically he can move on from the club as soon as it suits him but we want all part-time players now we know that when I've done this just to see how it worked he agreed on 30 pounds a week and you can see yep he's accepted that but it doesn't mean that he's going to come to the club what it means is he's accepted a contract from Warrington Town moving down to the next player this is Jonas Rukuna Now, Jonas Mukuna is a free agent and as you can see here plays in a lot of positions but these positions these three do not interest us because we're playing 4-4-2 it's the same if you was playing 4-3-3 these two wouldn't interest you so he plays competent ML and MR and that's all we can really use him for we've offered him 80 pounds per week it is quite a good player approach to sign now underneath here where you've got the first two which are pretty obvious breakthrough prospects and immediate this is what we call a promise you will find loan move to assist player development <clears throat> and they will keep asking you through the season why you haven't done it because you made a promise to the player so click off all promises now suggest and you can see that he wants an appearance fee of 300 pounds 
doesn't want to sign, but again, we force these players for contracts. And £80 a week is what we want to pay him. And he's agreed it. So that's the second one with a part-time contract, if he comes to the club. Now, the next player we're going to look at is Matthew Laycock. Matthew Laycock is a goalkeeper. And as you saw, we went through the form. We don't have anyone in that position. So, again, a free agent. All of our players will be free agents. He hopefully will sign for £50 per week on a breakthrough prospect. Again, he wanted £170 as an appearance fee, so these players can jump ship when it's not going well for them. But you offer him £50, and he takes that. So that is your third contract accepted. Amari Brown is the next one we're going to look at. Amari Brown started his career with Wolves. As you can see, he's a free agent. And this time I will offer him £60. Breakthrough prospect. Now, one thing I mostly haven't told you here, but the appearance fee, where he asks for 200 what you need to roughly do is divide that by three, which obviously is 66, and I round it down and I'll offer him £60. Always remember to click off these figures, because if you don't, they will add to the contract you're going to give them for £60. There we go, that's the contract, and he accepts that. Going down to the fifth one now, nearly a halfway, we've got Ben Thompson. Now, Ben Thompson, there's a few here. You want the one that's a free agent. And you can see from where I'm clicking there, that he will come for around £30 per week. Approach to sign, breakthrough prospect again. Wants £50. When you divide this by three to get around £16, no one's going to come for £16. There's always a minimum. So a part-time contract of £30. Yep, that's been accepted as well. Working down now, the next one is Jake Cartwright. Now, Jake Cartwright normally would come as a future prospect. And there we go, future prospect. And that means he will want £25 per week, even though it says appearance fee 20. Don't think you're going to save a fiver because they can go whenever they please. You want to keep him for the season, perhaps longer if he plays well. And there we go, he's accepted £25. Working down now to number seven, I'm going to murder this, but I think his name is Estin Evans or something along those lines. Someone can always comment in and tell me how that's pronounced. And yeah, he's a free agent, Welsh, 19 years of age. And he's another one that I'll be offering £25 for. And 
as you can see it's another one with a promise here make sure you remove that promise before you carry on another one that wants an appearance for your 20 quid the same as Jake Cartwright so we basically know he should be coming for 25 pounds yeah that's been accepted now we're looking at Alfie Roberts now Alfie Roberts is a free agent 19 years of age goalkeeper I've already looked at one but yeah we need a couple in that position because we don't have anyone and he's looking for around 65 pounds per week breakthrough prospect and wants 250 pounds a week appearance fee which is a lot of money I wouldn't have taken him on that ever but for 65 pounds we'll see if he agrees that he does 65 pounds whether he comes is another thing then the last two we're going to work out now Joseph Cunningham Yeah, another free agent here. We're going to be looking to offer him £60. Approach to sign. Breakthrough prospect again. You can see he wants 180 So remember, divide that by three gives you £60. Done, 60 pounds and that's been accepted and our last player Luke Chapman Luke Chapman a free agent at 20 years of age striker not brilliant but we do need someone in that position and again we're going to be offering him 60 pounds for a breakthrough prospect was well, 230 so we'll offer him 60 and that's it that's all 10 players that have accepted a contract. Now the next thing we're going to move on to is the upcoming schedule of the friendlies. And the first thing I want to do here is scrap all those friendlies. And don't think we're just going to go straight to the first league game because we're going to have our own friendlies. We're going to play them all at home and we're gradually going to start with lower opposition working up to similar opposition. And we will not play our first game to the Tuesday week. That gives us time, hopefully, to sign a few of these 10 players, get them at the club. So, smaller reputation teams we need to start off with. And here we'll start off with Royalston. It's up to you what you want to press here, but just make sure they come in from lower league. All right, and smaller reputation. So we'll start with Royalston, then we'll go Frickley. some I think I did something wrong there right let's go back into this K 
cancel the friendly at Frickley. I should have done that on the next Saturday down along with this one. Right, let's go smaller reputation and we'll put Frickley in again as if they come this time. Then the following week we're going to do Tuesday and Saturday again. Still smaller teams. We'll go Glossop. Northend, is it possible? And on the Saturday, smaller reputation teams again. And this time we'll go Hansworth. And that means then we've only got one week left before the start of the league that's the first league game never want to play within that week the last game when they want to play is on that saturday before so on the tuesday we want to play similar teams to us so hensford town maybe and the last friendly we're going to put in here will be similar reputation again and this time it will be Ilkeston Town. I so say you can put who you want in but try and start with the lower league opposition because we don't have a great team. Back to the scouting here and down to the transfers. You'll now see that we've got two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 transfers. And what we're going to do, we're going to lock this in. Save game as, and we'll call this one, Warrington Town. And we'll call this one for now. Right, so while that's saving, the next thing we're going to do is go into the team itself, the squad, and we're going to move all the players to the senior squad for now. to senior squad so that means we've got everybody in the first team and what we will do we will go along moving players back to the under 18s that we don't need and the first one there is going to be George Gowdy we know he's the fourth choice of the goalkeepers but what we're going to do with him is release him on a free so we don't need to actually put him in the under 18s but we will do for now just move him across and what we will do as we go per position you'll see that all these goalkeepers play natural in that position basically now, the DLs we've got, we've only got three. We can't touch any of these because we need three in the first team. DCs, we need six in the first team. And again, they've all got natural ability. You can't touch that. We've now got four in the DR department. But remember, one of them could walk at any day. So we will have to leave the other one there just for now. So that means we've got at least three for that position. Now, ML, again, we've only got three in that position, so we will have to leave them all in the senior squad. MR is exactly the same. We've only got three. And the MC, we do have nine, and we need six. So three of these players 
will need to go down to the next level. And they will be these three here. So we're going to put youth, youth, and youth. So those three, 250 points and below, are not good enough to be here. So Paddy K will be the first one. Into development, move to the under 18s. Then we're going to do the same with Gunnar Ingi Odson. That's if I can find him, of course. So we'll move him to the under 18s. And our last one we're going to have is Deacon Smalley. Deacon Smalley is our third player to move to the youth. And we have seven players in the striker department so the worst one will go down to the youth and that will be Darius Wan there he is so we will remove him and that's all done in the top team so you'll see either way here, you'll see five players that have gone, four back into the youth, and don't forget this one is being released as soon as we press the button basically for the next day. And the last thing I want to show you before we forward the game on is players that are not natural in the position they're set for. And as we go through here, everyone in defence is fine. Now ML. Matty Grivoski is set for a left midfield position, but only plays accomplished. <coughs> Might be easier if I put these in. Alphabetical order, I might be able to find them easier. Right, Matty Grivoski. Press development and training. Then come into positions where he will become a winger support. And that's done. So we can now come out of him and we will need to go into the two youngsters here. Kevin Morton Bryan and Ross Martin. Morton Bryan, develop him into an ML and competent, has to go to a winger and support. And the other one we want to do here, Ross Martin into training and change that from competent for a winger support try and get him into a natural ability not every player makes it to a natural ability All right, we'll also see here that we've got one in the MC but we don't have to worry about him yet. I will do these last because we've already moved him down to youth. Now, MR, Connor Woods. He's not natural either. So he's another one we've got to change. So, MR, winger, support. 
moving down to these two here that are in the youth. They're both natural already, which is good. And the last position, we have one here who's a striker, not natural, is Isaac Buckley Ricketts. So development training, and we'll just go for his highest there. So we have a few players on training duty. So that's everything done at the moment. What we're going to do next now is to move the game forward. And the first thing we've got to do is accept the current vision. We know the current vision. Work within the wage budget. Grow the club's reputation. And finish in mid-table in the league. We don't need to worry about any of these players' contracts. We know everything about them. Now, the first thing you have to do is the tactical direction. So we already know that we're going to be playing 4-4-2. And for each with the thumb up here, you can choose any one of those three. So I'm going to choose wing play. And I know the formation is going to be 4-4-2 because that's why I've set it up like that. And that's why I'm looking to buy players for those positions. Right, so that is your tactic screen. Moving forward again with the inbox. And we know we've cancelled all of those friendlies because we've tried to add some new ones. And Gaudi there given a free transfer, so that's him gone from the club. And we've got the six friendlies all agreed. Weekly staff meeting. Just for the first one, we will attend it. Uh, skip to development, skip to staffing, skip to meeting, summary, end meeting. We do all this ourselves. We don't really need to know what's going on. Right, so let's move on again now. We don't have a game, remember, for a week on that Tuesday. So if we look in the schedule, you will see that the six friendlies there are the ones we made. They're all at home, not always the best thing to do, but we need to try and begin to get on a, a winning run of some kind. This is another one I don't really understand. This is one that I just normally go through and just click whatever I fancy. And that's that done. Whatever that was about. So we're going to basically stay here until the day of the first friendly, which is where I will end this and we will start again after that. Confirm the code of conduct. Now offers made for Thompson. This is what I said about players that you made offers for, not necessarily are going to come. Right. The squad dynamics, introduce yourself to the squad. Introduce yourself. I have nothing else to talk about now. 
and that's it. Everyone's happy there. That's all you need to do. Right, the promises update, obviously we don't have any. And now it's time to meet the media. Attend the press conference. I don't really like attending these. Too many questions. So, as long as it's positive, I'm not really fussed what I say. Hopefully there's only a couple more. I wish I'd press decline now. Ooh, a lot of a lot of questions for a non-league team here. I don't think this would really happen. I don't think anyone would turn up. Thank God for that. Right, let's move on. We're now on the Wednesday before the first game next Tuesday. Is anybody going to sign for us? Not looking good at the moment. Oh, we've got one coming. That's Eastern evidence perhaps his name's meant to be sounding like that so that's in the info there we'll just put new for now and let's see what they say happy to have signed such a good player so they're happy with the first one Oh, Matthew Laycott's coming. That is a goalkeeper that we really wanted. And that's third from top there, so that was one of our better players. Very pleased to make such an exciting signing. Um, Billy Brooks is coming as well. So Billy Brooks was our top one that we wanted to sign. Moving now into the Thursday. I'm happy to assign such a good player. Attend the press conference again with the new players that we've just taken in. At least that's very positive down the bottom there from Dibby Brooks. And 
that's that. A lot of questions again. Right, Joseph Cunningham accepts our offer. So that's four out of the ten at the moment that have signed. And happy to assign such a good player. Chapman's coming as well. He was our bottom choice, I think. So that's half of them that have arrived. And again, happy to assign such a good player. Cartwright's on his way, Jake. And Amari Brown as well. So Cartwright Brown. That means at the moment it's just three that haven't shown. Very pleased to make an exciting signing. And happy to have signed such a good player. So I'm happy with those seven. And as I say, they've already signed. So once we know we've got this game coming up on Tuesday, there'll be a slight difference to the setup than there would have been. And let's see by Tuesday whether we can sign the other three. Looking back here, Jonas Mukuna, yes, he's a good player. He doesn't really fit in the MLMR at the moment. Uh, ben Thompson, he's looking elsewhere as well. And Alfie Roberts was our second choice goalkeeper. So those three, we'll see what happens. Attend the press conference now, the latest ones. I think I should be sending the assistant manager to do this. Again, Josh Cunningham down the bottom there, very positive. Again, that's it for those players. Try and keep everybody happy. It's going to be difficult. But this is why you need to sign breakthrough players, because if they don't play, they won't be getting the hump. But of course, if you get star players, important players, first team um, first choice goalkeepers, fringe players, they will all want game time. And this is why you have to start the way I'm starting with breakthrough and future prospects. So just three more to try to sign. And once we've done this, we go to the first friendly and then after that, we start looking at the squad again, putting the new players in, seeing where we still need to improve. It's an ongoing thing. So attend the recruitment meeting. Again, this is going to be another one where we just skip to the end because we know what's going on with everything. <clears throat> We've managed to get to the Saturday now. Is anybody else going to sign by Tuesday before the kickoff? But if you have the light the video today, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and a like. I think they've added some friendlies in here, so let's go to 
of schedule. Wow. The game on Thursday will be cancelled. Um, what else have we got here? Tuesday, another Thursday game which we will cancel. And another Thursday game which we will cancel. And the Monday game which we shall cancel. Right, that leaves us with our six. Come on, let's get another signature before the Tuesday. Right, request a summary to inbox. We don't need to attend those meetings now. We've already done that. And as we hit the Tuesday, this will tell you that we've spent a week in the transfer market and we've made seven signings. And what I will do, I will add these in while we're off air, I will add them in, and then when we come back for the first friendly, you'll be able to see where those players fit in. Still no one else has signed. If they're going to sign now, it needs to be pretty soon. So this tells us that Jonas Makuna has accepted the Eastbourne Borough offer. Thompson has gone to Bromley. And Alfie Roberts is coming to us. So that's the 10 all sorted. And Alfie Roberts, let's just see what they say about him. So we managed to get eight of those players signed for us, which is brilliant, really. So what I'm going to do now is save the game because there's nothing else going to happen much before the first friendly. And we will be back for that in tomorrow's video. So if you've got any questions you want to ask, feel free to post those. I have an email on there which is allaboutfootball.john, that's J-O-H-N, at gmail.com, where if you want to send me any messages to there, you feel free. And I do have the Excel spreadsheet for free. That's the template one or the one where we're doing... Um, the Warrington save at the moment. So Alfie Roberts there, happy to have signed such a good player. So out of all those eight that are signed, you can see the kind of point system that I use does bring in some half-decent players. So what we do now, we're going to save this. And we are going to save it as it was, Warrington Town, one. All right, we'll be ready for the friendly soon. And thanks for watching today's episode. And we'll catch up tomorrow. Thanks very much.